This product was sent to me by Digit Now, but the views on this video are mine and mine alone. I've made videos in the past where I've shown you guys how to take your VHS, your Sony Handycam, or even your retro consoles, throw it on the computer using a capture card in OBS where you can live stream your retro consoles, record all of your old home videos from the VHS, or even the Super 8. When Digit Now sent me out this product, I said, man, that is a game changer. Instead of fumbling through all of the RCA converters and HDMI converters and all that stuff, this one product looks like it will do just all that in one. It also records from an SD card right onto the device. So what we're gonna do actually is unbox this thing, take everything out, show you everything that's going on inside the box, and I'm gonna actually show you what this thing can do. This thing has so much high potential that you don't even need a powerful computer to do so. Inside the box is the video grabber, the RCA cables, the AV cable, the data cable, it also comes with a five volt power adapter and the HDMI cable, along with a four gig memory card. All right, so I've had a few days to play around with this thing and I'm gonna go over some of the great, the good, the bad, and the ugly with this device. So I'm actually gonna start with one little thing that I noticed right away is the, uh, the video ca cable, the RCA to the three and a half millimeter, so I grabbed my handy cam and I want to pull this other one off. You're going to kind of probably guess what's going on here. So when I power the device on and I plug the cable that came with the actual device, it's going to give me a nice, cool sound effect here. It's really bad. And then the video itself isn't coming up all that great on the device. Yeah. Hear it? So what I did was I went ahead and went on Amazon and spent $3 on another one because this particular one may just not be compatible with my Sony Handycam. So what I did was hooked it up. It's probably going to have Smallville on there. So no buzzing now. So that's good. So that's the biggest, biggest thing I found with this recorder. So just keep in mind, if you have a Sony Handycam or you're getting a buzzing sound, what I actually did was I bought the uh, AV cable for the Handycam itself. So uh, this just might not be compatible with it. And I'm not saying this is bad. I'm not saying this is, you know, not going to work for yours. But this is my experience with it. Moving forward. So... If you notice, you know, there's an internal battery in this thing, and I've got a little two-inch screen that actually pops up there. Uh, I have not figured out how big of a card you can put in here. It comes, like I said before, a four-gig card. But you see I've just got the HDMI. Um, we can take this, plug it into here. Now the screen goes, goes black. But now it's up there, and I want to press play for a second, and you'll be able to see Smallville. And I'm going to take it off. Yep, see? So now I'm going to take it off because I'm going to get copyrighted. But what we can do is we'll change the tape. Oh, that's my hockey game. Now what I can do is, if you look up here, if I press record, it'll start recording. So you can record all your stuff. Just be mindful, whatever, however long your video is, you have to wait for the video to get done. So if you know how long it is, you can periodically look at it and see what, what's coming up, you know. So I'm going to press uh, record again, and it should stop it. Okay, so now see this timer up here? 
this timer tells you how many hours and minutes you have left on that card. So that four gig card should be okay for you unless you got a six hour tape or whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna stop this. So just keep that in mind. What uh, also is cool about it is if I take the handy cam off and go through the RCA on the VCR, I forgot what tape is in there. I'm going to press play. I don't know. I think it's the us at the lake. Yes, it's us at the lake. So we've got four hours and 38 minutes, and we can just record all this stuff as well. So that's a pretty cool little feature there. So what I have found, though, is that when you record onto this card, it comes up AVI. Now, with that being said, there was a disc. This disc actually comes with video editing software. This is the other negative I don't like about this. It came with a disc, okay? Now, one of my computers has a CD-ROM in it. If your computer has a CD-ROM in it, unless it's an external one or a sleeper, uh, more than likely your computer will have a hard time running a video editing software anyway. So with that being said, I wish they would actually include a little USB stick. Um, well, you know, a little USB stick with all the software that's in it. It's cool it comes with video software, but when I put this on a Premiere Pro, I actually had to convert the, the AVI over to MP4 or another format for it to actually pull up on on Premiere Pro. So if you're intending on using this to do like a documentary and bring old old film over, if you if you're doing that, you know how to do all that anyway. So but for the average person, it's you know it might be a little daunting. My wife knows what that means. Anyway, so with that being said, we're going to actually show you some other cool features on this as well. So look at that screen there. Now we can use this. Instead of recording on a tape to this, we can record directly to the device on the Handycam and not have to worry about doing all that. So, let's go around and around, whoops, and around. Hello! So now I just record right onto this hard drive, or this little SD card here. So, it's pretty cool. If you don't have the, the DV cable, and the FireWire card inside of your computer, you can actually utilize this and the capture card on your computer and utilize this as a webcam. So that's a pretty cool thing too. There's a lot of options you can do with this thing if you're a small filmmaker or just uh, you know wanting to get your home videos onto the onto the computer so you can watch later and save the old tapes because they degrade over time. Now they're only going to record at the best quality that that you have. But with that being said, I, I like this device. Uh, the price point's $89. Uh, I'm on the fence on the steepness on that because honestly, well, what you get and what you can do with this thing the sky's the sky's the limit. I I really I, I actually really like this. Something happened upstairs. I don't know, you know, if it's feasible for others, but with that being said, like I said, it it's it's got a battery on it, but it also comes with if you want to just plug it in. I think that's USB A. And then the other thing too with this, instead of removing your card, 
you can just transfer the file straight from that cable onto the computer. All right, everybody, so in conclusion, I really do like this device. Uh, this is a great option for you for transferring over your home videos and stuff like that. I know some of you guys are gonna say, well, the video quality through the handy cam on the DVI or the DV is a lot better than the RCA, yes, but if you don't have that option, this is a great alternative. Anyway, tell me if you like this video. Uh, I'm gonna thank Digit Now for sending this out to me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy these last clips.